Okay, well we are going to move on to Miss Tracy's question that she chose. And so we are about to delve into the mystery of how important is a man's performance in bed? Because I am a very sexual person and I do try to take my, my sexual needs and how I'm getting pleased into my own hands even when a man is or a woman is present. So, <laughs> um, I don't really think, I, I believe the performance is more than just the act. So if you have if you have me intrigued and I'm interested prior to us getting to the bed, if I like you as a person, if I'm into you and you're into me, I think that makes the performance even better. I don't like to say that men are selfish because sometimes they are, but I think women allow them to be selfish. If you are going down on me and you're not doing it right, and if I can't give you direction, get up, grab your gear, get out. Mm. Period. I'm not going to allow you to do what feels good to you or yeah. me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you know, you know, because and you're not going to allow you know what I what makes me feel good on you if it doesn't make you feel good. So if I don't like to get bit and I tell you to stop and you like, what's my problem? No, uh, what's your problem? You didn't ask me that. We didn't we didn't have that type of conversation. I think if you if you have a conversation about your likes and not and your dislikes. A man should keep that in, in his mental Rolodex. She yeah. doesn't like this. You know, they're nipples. They're not doorbells. You know, they're not. They have twist feelings. Ties. You know, they're not twist ties. You know, you can't rub them in your fingers. <laughs> and that shit don't feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Light switches. And, and what, works, what works on one woman is a completely turn off yeah. on another woman. So you can't take your <laughs> skills that you have with one woman and apply them to every woman. Tell them. So your performance, basically, you need to let the woman direct what you're doing in the bedroom to make it a pleasurable experience for the both of you. I can't stand for, I, oh my God, please do not wake me up in the middle of the night with your penis in my face. Mm. That is the most irritating thing hey, ever yeah. in the... In the <laughs> I mean, what? Because that's what I was dreaming about. I, I mean, Just to put all women, all women. Some women love heads. Some women can. That's all they want. I mean, I could, I would take the head all, all day long. But you really need to back it up. I need a period behind that head. I need something like this is it. I'm a man. I want. You know, I, I need that penetration. I, you know, provide, I mean, protect, and penetrate. yeah, provide, protect. You know, <laughs> provide the protection for the penetration. I, I think that the performance is great and I think that you need to um, build up to that because most women are very emotional. I'm the type of woman that my mind is my, my, if my mind's not working, my pussy don't work. Yeah. So if I have issues with me. you and, um, and, 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 and it goes back to me saying that <laughs> you can't apply every your know, one experience or a few experiences to every woman. You have to get to know. If I'm mad at you, we need to work this shit out. No, I need some act right. Uh, Give me some act right, I might act right. <laughs> Great, great, great sex, 
and then he treating you like shit. You ain't getting no act right, and he gonna like, I'm gonna fuck you. She gonna be just fine, and you stuck because yeah. you're like, damn, it's good. Uh, oh wow. Damn, he so just he's such an asshole. He a dick. He don't do shit. He ain't paying no bills. I had to take out the garbage. He ain't do that. Fuck, I'm just gonna fuck you. You gonna take that garbage out your damn self when we done because it's good. So it could be a downfall. I prefer inconsistent. Be a little. Sometimes you gotta be inconsistent. Don't give it good all the time. Just every now and then it could be just lazy, wham bam. Just say you can't. Right, right, right. The same, the same thing's gonna happen. You still, you know, the same feelings gonna be there. But when it's good all the time, you lose all your senses. I really feel like you just lose all your senses. You, yeah. I, I think in the beginning stages you do, yeah. which is why I think you should hold off on having sex yeah. to get to know someone. Because you get mesmerized, yeah. right? You get mesmerized, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's like, oh my god! And then six months later, you're like, mm, not so much. So if you take some time to get to know somebody in the beginning, but what happens? You get to know somebody, and then the sex is trash. I mean, then you move you on there well, too. Sure. I, I think, move on. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. That's grounds for this I think performance is crucial. But I think that a guy's two best skills are adaptability and listening. Yes. Because he's got to be able to, like you said, be able to adapt from, okay, I was with this chick and this is what she like and this one ain't feeling it so much. And be able to be in tune with that, not just ignore it and keep going for right. what it is you know and what you like. And then also with the uh, with listening, you got to listen to not only to what she likes in bed, but what she likes outside the bed because, like you said, if he ain't doing anything else, he's not getting anything else together outside the bedroom, you're going to be turned off no matter how turned good the sex off, is. All the way. Yeah. I mean, what do you call this sign? You said you have, you have the what signs? What? I don't know. So that says the, it's, the, it's, the, it's the signs. You know, like when you reach down, you give the guy head, you look down at the feet. Oh, you, you, you um, and he's uh, like, I'm doing the contact clues. The contact clues. Man, right. need to pick up on contact, contact clues. clues. Yeah. So right. if, if you're doing a thing and I'm like, oh, keep doing that. <laughs> important but I like different types of performance at different times so sometimes we can just straight fuck and that's wonderful sometimes I want an emotional connection and I need you to make love to me in this moment mm -hmm. sometimes it's a quickie at, at a party in a bathroom yes I've done that <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean I mean it just is all kinds of different sex yes. but you know and I think I need the variety of those kinds of sexual encounters for the for me to get anything out of it overall, like but, I need different types of sex. But I think that some what men, I'm sorry, what, what what men don't tend to think or don't, don't understand, you can just about get your woman to do just about anything sexually if you are accommodating to her needs sexually and otherwise. So my thing is, if she says, "Oh, I would never take it in the ass," and blah 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 blah, and oh, that's just not, I would do that. And I'm telling you, if you hit it right and it's wet, no, I know and you got it in that not, moment, it. I'm just saying, it, it don't matter. I mean, I've done some shit that I would, I think is ungodly. <laughs> 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 that God was like, that ain't what I made that for. <laughs> you want to shit? You never slept with children or small farm animals. <laughs> <laughs> what depend on what you call it? in that way. Right, I mean, like, right. what depend with a, with a grown ass other person. Exactly. Right. Right. You know, <laughs> but I mean, I've done things so like now. is the fact that you know you do not control the threesome you are the dick in the room like the you know, like the pink elephant when two women get together what they say they can't look each other in the eye because you gotta hold them down like wild dogs because we ain't with you no more we we but right, a lot of women right. that would do a threesome for you they want to be 
you want to be with a woman anyway, it ain't for you, boo boo. Don't get it fucked up. Right. right. <laughs> Don't right. get that twisted. Right. <laughs> right. I think right. it's not a recommendation because she might get up and leave with. Her. <laughs> Secure in your manhood to, to to initiate a threesome or even have a threesome. It's not even about you. So then the performance, like I said, a good performance and it has to be more than physical and mental can give you way more than you anticipated or thought you could from a woman. The dick is the key. I think I I agree with that. I think you know if you really want to please a woman, you can't look at sex as just a physical act. Yeah. So it doesn't matter, you know, like you got the biggest penis in the world, or yeah. hey, sometimes if you got a little tic tac, you know what I'm saying? Tic tac, 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 tic where a woman's erogenous zones may be, what positions work best for them. They put a little bit more effort into their love making right. skills yeah. because they know they're not going to go up in there like that. Nah, 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 yeah, but even nah, nah, the guys who do come in the room with a third leg and think that they're just going to have sex. No. It's, it's like, oh, it doesn't work. It's so much like, 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 you have to be <laughs> responsible <laughs> with your artillery, cool. which yeah, is cool. cool. You can't just run around shoving it all willy nilly everywhere <laughs> you want to. But so it's not just a physical thing. It's not. I mean, you could be attractive. And you could have, you know, watched the latest videos, and you can. It helps to have some technique if you know you, you know, you can go to the side, <laughs> up and down. You got some rolling it under. All that stuff helps. But if you don't have the other side. If the woman is like, if you can't tell that that is not what she likes, if she's all tense, yeah. that doesn't necessarily mean she's tense because your penis is so big she can't handle it. You know, <laughs> like women can handle a lot more than you think they can. We have babies. <laughs> scream and because my penis is so big you know, and she was just screaming so loud because it hurt okay <laughs> because that this shit was lightweight painful like and, and, you know there's some people who like the whole pain pleasure thing but really sex is about freaking pleasure. pleasure you know life has enough pain okay to involve unless you want some nipple clamps and y'all wanted the whips and the whatever some people like that that's cool but I can like, choke me too. you need to <laughs> you need to really like the art of pleasuring a woman is it's an art or play it's, it's an art play more than so, penetration in anything so, Vince and Rod Studios in 1906 and a half South Halstead here in Chicago if you've ever dreamed of becoming an entrepreneur and don't know where to start the Entrepreneur Within You by Julie Holloway is a must read. Holloway and 17 co-authors share advice and inspiration that can save you from serious business blunders. So purchase your copy today on Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com. The Entrepreneur Within You. Empowering. Equipping. Inspiring. Some women, playing, right? some women right. like like me, I'm very intellectual. So if we're having a great conversation, you break out the home. And I think board. I think that you are <laughs> smart. <laughs> if I think you're smart and intelligent, if we're having this great rapport and you're saying stuff and it's making me rethink some things, it's making my brain spin, I'm like, whew, whew. Mm -hmm. All right, man, you know, like that's turning me on, but that might not turn another woman. Some woman might be, it might be something physical, or it might be she wants you to compliment her or talk to her a certain way. So you have to really pay attention to women and not just think like, once she sees this, <laughs> you know, it's, it's on and pop. It's not always like that. And when y'all get in the bedroom, you know, what are the things that she likes? Some women like for their nipples to be stimulated rough. Some women like it soft. And like, like you said, on different days it might be different things. You really have to read. Sometimes you want somebody to pin you down and Some give you a dog. Some always like it in the bedroom. <laughs> and, <laughs> right. You have to read. Really think override. Right. Right. You have to go. <laughs> 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 Kelly, are we reading a sex show? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> because I find this is the minority. If we could just introduce a concept that there is a such thing as spiritual sex too. It is. That, you know, I know everybody yeah, wants yeah. to do the emotional and physical, but there comes a time where if you want to take it to the next level, sometimes if you're sex life is getting boring you know you don't need like a can of whipped cream maybe you need to get a little tantra involved because that's a whole nother level of getting to know your partner and becoming intimate and really can you see a IBM which is all of the men that's that why I said can we like, introduce it all right because, because I'm just, I'm just trying to imagine it and like you know I have like pictures run through my mouth and I hear people talk so I'm thinking can I actually see like me did anybody see Tango on Paradise where you see the two people sitting or together and, 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 and he's inserted inside of her but they're just sitting there and that's kind of what tantric sex is it's like an emo ain't no IBM really having that and it, right like, that's like, <laughs> no, like, like that. that is I, where you aren't necessarily doing a whole bunch of grinding mm -hmm. and gyration but you're really taking into account like the inner energies and the inner feelings and you guys are building and cultivating that together until you really it, it's like a connection with god there's a connection with something higher there's a connection there's something that literally takes you outside of your body and, and they're not you know what but it's something to begin to look at because it's something to begin to to try and explore with other women if you really want to be the mac you get that woman an out of body experience and see if your your dishes won't be done and your food won't be cooked and your rolls <laughs> won't be buttered by then if you really want to be the mac i just think you know getting to know a woman making sex something that's not just you know like like porn i'm not against porn but to me porn is like one of like the porn. biggest just the porn i like is pure and it's it. like the death of sex sometimes because guys look at porn and the girls are just uh oh, uh oh, oh yeah oh yeah and the guys go yeah yeah you like that you like that oh 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 oh, oh. and they're just shoving it in all the holes just shoving it this way shoving it that way And then they think I'm supposed to be like the porn star. Ooh. So then the guy comes and he gets to sticking and plucking. And even though she's not really having an orgasm, she's not really being fulfilled, she's not really enjoying herself, she's running around going, oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. And then guys go to the next girl thinking that's how my yeah. last girlfriend I used to lay it down. Yeah. Yeah. They need to yeah. sit it down <laughs> and reevaluate what you're doing. Yeah. Some of these women are, women, some of you guys are promoting horrible sex. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. You're letting them do stuff that does not feel pleasurable to you. Some of you, some women don't know what feels pleasurable. Well, let me ask you this: I've never had, had a vaginal organ. Think that they can't have vaginal organs because you haven't slowed down to take the time to figure out you know what, what like. feels good mm -hmm. to my vagina. If your vagina doesn't feel good, your vagina's not broke. That just don't work for you. You have to keep figuring out what works for you. If I get to make a sandwich afterwards, boo boo, you have failed in your attempt to make it. If I go to sleep, like as soon as he takes that, I'm like, if you get a sandwich, that be I want you to like let yourself out. So what you about to do? Oh yeah, like I'm about to go. I got stuff to do. A great time and women stop the moaning. Yes. If you don't feel it, then get silent, silent, cricket, <laughs> cricket, silence. Or some, sometimes I just say, you know what, I really don't like that. I don't like this. This is not what I like. They'll take well, that ruined the mood. That's what the mood has been ruined. The mood has been ruined. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, I got to a certain point where I just can't do it no Maybe. more. If it's not popping, it's not popping. Well, I think I Different. I don't want to sit here for another 10 minutes while you finish getting your jollies off and I'm not getting my jollies off at all. I, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I, think, I think that goes back to what we talked about before with role reversal. If you really look at the male-female roles, a man is supposed to work for you, 
work for your attention, work for your time, work to please your body. Right. But we're so busy trying to worry about please what him. works for his mm -hmm. body. Oh, well, I gotta do this right so he don't go and see Serena tonight, or well, he don't go see Katrina right. tomorrow. And we're so busy working that we're not getting pleased. Right. We're not really pleasing him because he sees that we're frantic and, mm -hmm. and out of sorts and it's not fake. at peace. Faking. Yeah, and mm -hmm. so it's like nobody wins in a situation where you're working so hard to please this man and you're getting no pleasure. I no the, true pleasure. I look at man, like what you don't realize is once you really truly learn how to please a woman, you'll never, ever, ever, ever want to do it any other way again because you get so much yeah. more out of the experience yeah. as well. Yeah. Like initially, I've been with partners who I was like, this is my high. And they were a little frustrated to begin with. And I was like, cool, then we'll both be frustrated together. But I ain't gonna be frustrated if you're not frustrated. <laughs> we'll both be frustrated. Right. Either you want to take the time with me to learn my body, or there is no time with my body. Don't go to the rules. That's what it is. And once, once you, he's figured out what I like and how to please me, then the whole experience is better for both people. Not Let me just ask this me. question to you guys though, because I. I don't orgasm yeah. every time, and I don't think that my sex is less pleasurable right. than yours just right. because you yes. did. So right. I don't you know, know what I mean? Like, I don't right. think that it's necessary for me to orgasm to have a right. complete. Right. I can't get shit done. If I had an orgasm every time I have sex, I would be bedridden. <laughs> doing me a favor. You're not doing it. If you don't want to do it, if you don't kiss oh, please him that like you kiss there. me, read it. Please Boo, read it. Yourself. Because if I'm going to give you head, I'm giving you head because that's what my mouth wants to do at the time. And you just sit back and and, and ride the ride, boo-boo. This ain't got nothing to do with you. This is me and him down here. You know? And I want him to feel the same way. Like, you know, you got a pussy? Could I eat it? Of course you can. Just say, you know what? It's been nice, Susan. You're a great person. We just ain't, this ain't happening. Yeah, right. You know, right. it's, it's, don't just keep back, you know, making me think, you know, you know, hyping me up, thinking you're going to change and switch it up. And you don't, if there is such a thing as a big, a penis that's too big, please, let's get this. I got to have the possibility. Do not come oh, swinging 13 in my face and be like, baby, you know, Google, let me tell you, my vagina about this long. Anything past that, you are hitting the cervix, you are messing with the uterus, and you know, and all the other different things. Or at cervix. least you don't have to be a real connoisseur of <laughs> what you're doing. If you slaying some extra shalang schwang, <laughs> then you, again, you cannot come What's around. Bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it, bang it. <laughs> No, that is pussy abuse. <laughs> that needs to end, okay? I'm going to come back abuse. with a sheep. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Bring a sheep in the room. <laughs> <laughs> So you and God. <laughs> 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 I'm right. fine as well now. Right. So it's well. I'm feeling fine now. That was good. <laughs> right. That was a good one. All right. I, I know you guys got a lot of great information out of that one. You had a regular old sex lesson from Brandon. So <laughs> <laughs> that was a round of applause. Yeah. All right. All right.